What did you think of this year's Jamboree? I think it's really good and the weather is kind of good. Yeah. Not too windy like yesterday. What do you think Jamboree season is for people and for, for you? It's excitement. It's things coming back to life. It's springtime and yeah. uh, everybody's coming back out and uh, welcoming back the sun. And, well, I mean, I guess the sun's been back for a bit, but <laughs> <laughs> you know that 24 hour sun that's coming. So. Come up and sign up with Nika uh, Steve. And, uh, you never know, you never in its 53rd year, the Tuk to Yuk Tuk Beluga Jamboree along the Arctic Ocean hosted traditional games as harpoon throwing and ice chiseling, helping to keep the on-the-line skills and interests alive. With Jamboree organizers calling for three persons, including youth, the Nasogalwak family won for the fastest in ice chiseling, down over five feet of ice. What do you think is the importance of traditional games as ice chiseling? It's a good part of uh, what we do each year anyway. You know, we're out, when we're out on the land in the spring, we're going to be making holes. And it's good to keep in touch with, with how we used to do it. A lot of people use augers today, but it's good to keep it the knowledge uh, alive. Yeah. My wife fishes and I make holes. Yeah. <laughs> He's not much of a fisherman. I'm not much of a fisherman. <laughs> Any um, particular tips that, I don't know, for people, like what is what is the importance of being able to ice chisel, like aspects of that? Good equipment and, not, and good technique and fast partner to get the ice out. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Work together as a team and you'll always get things done. Similar to Anuvik's Diane Day, who won first in women's harpoon throwing, she says it's important to practice these skills. The tradition of my family that we go harvesting beluga every year, so I've been out every year all my life. When I was 12, I asked my dad to go out with my brothers and it was the first time he ever agreed to have one of the girls go hunting. So we actually had a competition where the boys went in their own boat and I went with uh, one of my cousins and my brother and we went to see who was going to catch the first beluga and we did and I harpooned it. I was taught by my grandparents and we live a pretty traditional lifestyle. We continue it and we continue teaching our kids. So We look forward to all the jamborees and all the communities Luggett takes us to all of them and it's just seeing family friends and meeting new friends and after being in the dark all winter and then you have all this light so you go out and celebrate together and seeing new singers uh, new fiddlers in the smaller communities that's really upbringing to the youth it's good to see with a comparatively large amount of contestants for jamboree season Kitty Hall was packed to cheer on the 24 talent show contestants from across the Delta. What did you think of the talent show? It was really good. I, um, <laughs> it was sometimes like get like really really crowded, like people getting up and that. But like the music was good. So many talented like singers, and I met some people who are part of the Norwegian art. Well, seen some people, anyways. Yeah, who? Um, I think his name is Brayden. Yeah. Taking home second in a Klavik and a Nuvik and first in duets with his sister, a Klavik's Brayden John took first in the Tuk 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 talent show Saturday night. And I think there's another Norwegian art kid here. I, I forget his name though. Matthew. 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 Yeah, there's been a couple. 
yeah, there, there's a couple. So that's, that's awesome. Yeah, one's just one third. Matthew McLeod's just uh, one third in the 100 mile skidoo race. So there's some, there's some talent mm, for sure from across the Delta. Miley Wolke is one of the 36 youth across the Beaufort Delta. Earlier this year, producing four songs under the national production team Nuasian On. Songs and videos that hold a space and testament to these regional voices and experiences. Yeah, so you, I mean, you got to, you got to experience firsthand some of the, the dog races. What was that, trying to film them? Very cold and very windy, but it was really cool because I see, I got like a close-up shot to the, um, to the barge, like, so, Somewhere over oh, there, near Dulac. Yeah, yeah, over there. Oh, nice. How'd you, like, would you? I guess you probably wouldn't normally go go that way yeah. before. So, do you feel like you've got gained a little bit of appreciation from, like, I guess from dog racing, from having documented that experience? Yeah, I. Yeah. I mean, like, I, like to the people who feel like handle that type of weather to help the um, people who are dog racing, like, uh, untangle their dogs, like. For 17-year-old Didi Nasagalowak of Tuktoyaktuk's Beaufort Sea Kennels, this was her first dog race alongside her brother. Uh, it means so much. I grew up with my dad's dogs all my life, and now my brother has his own. It just, it's really nice to grow up around dogs. I've always wanted to do it ever since I saw my dad and my brother. It just was always an interest to me and I couldn't wait until this year to get on the sled and go. It was so nice and relaxing. I really liked it. My mind was just so peaceful just watching the dogs do their hard work and show all of their love. It takes a lot of hard work and especially in the cold, especially in February. Ooh. <laughs> uh, but I think they should do it. It's really nice, and all of the hard work will pay off. Good job, guys. With the most amount of dog mushers in a community, the Beluga Jamboree uniquely holds back-to-back -back races, a 12-mile 10-dog race, followed by a 6-dog 8-mile race. With final scores to confirm the winnings, Tuktoyaktuk's Mitchell Jacobson was in first in the 12-mile races and his partner, Gemma Grubin, in third. In the 8-mile race, Jacobson received third and Nuvik's Jojo Airy in second. What does it feel like to, uh, to end the season off this way? Well, it feels it feel good to uh, end the season off this way. Especially when you train so hard and you're just getting back into the dog mushing again and to see how how much you improve. Yeah. Because every dog race you get in you improve a little more, a little more, a little more. Eh? Yep. Winning first and for the first time in the region, Alberta's Don Cousins traveled to the regional jamborees with his dogs. Not just to race, but to learn and appreciate the region. Well, the dogs and I, we've been on the road for over three months so far this winter, so the reason I come up here is uh, twofold. Uh, first off, my dad was uh, a war veteran, and after the war with the Air Force, they stationed him up here in the north in different locations, and they did aerial photography of the north at that time, which was some of the first that was being done. He always wanted to come back, so I thought that uh, I'd better come up and take a look and see what he saw while I still have the chance. And another reason I come up is uh, actually Tuck 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 is, has uh, produced a very famous dog musher and his name was Peter Norberg. And in 1981, Peter Norberg uh, was the North American champion and uh, he was also world champion. And I think that's pretty special. He was a pretty good friend of mine. I got to know him well. He traveled the race circuits uh, down in Minnesota and all the way to New York and that sort of thing. And that's pretty good from someone from Tuck Tuck Tuck. So I wanted to come up and see where Peter came from and, and what Tuck 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 is all about. And his nephew was Jackie Jacobson. And Jackie used to train with Peter when he was a young boy. So I think that's pretty special. He says raising, touring, and racing dogs has taught him a lot of life skills. 
Well, I start, I've been mushing for 44 years, so I like to go and race against the best of the best. And coming up here was a very unique experience to come up and race against the, against or with the local people. Basically, you're everything to the dogs. You're, not only are you the dog musher, but you're the pooper scooper, you're the veterinarian, you're the dietitian, you're the coach, you're the manager, you're the physiotherapist, you're everything. And they can't talk to you, so you have to learn to read what they say. And uh, I think dealing with sled dogs has really helped me deal with people and understanding how people are just by reading how they are without ever having to say anything. You get look good at reading dogs, learning their body language and the different things that they, they tell you that way. And it's a very close and very unique experience. I quite enjoy it. A Clavitz Dawn store travels across to Jamborees as a mechanic. He says prizes, as for skidoo and dog races, offset the larger cost to prepare and maintain to race. I have dogs and stuff and hats off to the people that still do it because that alone is, it is worth more than uh, what skidoo's costs and the parts alone, like to manage dogs all year, it, you know, it's their time, their effort and it's their passion for it too that keeps it in, keeps them uh, in it, so. Like it's, uh, and the skidoos to us, uh, you, how we go over them and prepare them for racing. If you're going on a long hunting trip, you pretty much go through that same process of going over your machine, making sure certain bearings are greased up, making sure like you have extra parts with you in case you break down on the land, so. You're lucky to get two weekends out of a track. Wow. Track goes anywhere from Five to eight hundred dollars. Huh. Are these are these spikes specifically for racing or They're is that for ice racing? Eh? The sharper ones are for ice racing and uh, the little blunter ones, the sixty degree ones they use for cross country and stuff. Then uh, by the time we get our parts and everything and get them ready you're probably ten thousand a sled per per the, for the season like with the Belts, belts, brakes, you know, gas, and just to just to be in, uh, just to line up. I've been doing this for long. I used to race myself probably 20, 30 years doing it, I guess. Yep. Yeah. So it's, look forward to it each year. It is a lot of work getting the parts and working on the sleds, but it's usually I have a good turnout with um, friends that come and help out in the shop and stuff like that, so it works out good. That's where... A lot of the fun is for us at pull wrenches is just in the shop time and just that alone. I usually have an idea of who's, like like I said, I got this 800 for my daughter. And she was um, wanting to race right from when she was younger. So when she was of age, I made sure I had a machine for her. Store says it was a concern for the racing community when Inuvik and Tuktiuktus Jamborees were announced on the same weekend. And... He's glad that that was changed. It would have affected us because we'd had one less race to attend. And uh, and the, for the people too, like some people would have been in the Newick rather than being here, or some people would have been in, in uh, Tuck rather than being in the Newick. And uh, it's good that they got that worked out. And um, when you're a racer, usually you want to compete against the whole field, not just half of it. Why do you like skiddy race, watching skiddy race? Oh yeah? Good to see everybody on the same track because it takes so much time and effort to get ready and it's good that uh, they worked that out and it's good that we're able to race both places. Historically labeled as king and queen, starting at the beginning of the year, volunteers sign up as core fundraiser contestants while the volunteer committee organized the dates and events. Raising a collective of $46,538 for the, this year's Jamboree, fundraisers as the Grubins are passionate about helping keep the spring tradition alive. Does it feel the same as it did 10 years ago? <laughs> we, won, we won in 2013 as well, so we thought we'd try, you know, it's been 10 years, so we thought we'd try this year as well. What are you like most looking forward to for this Jamboree? I look forward to the drum dances. The drum dances are always my favorite. 
It means a lot helping out the community with all the fundraising, all the contestants. It gives our um, community that much more put towards the games that are happening and whatever prizes that our money that we raise could go towards or in the future as well. It's always good to see everybody come out and participate and have fun and um, the friendships you make and stuff during these events. They last a lifetime like people I used to race skates back in the day. They're still good friends to the day and they help you. Uh, like we all help each other where we can. Like even though we're competitive and stuff, we want to beat the next guy. But if that guy is searching for parts that he may need to join the race, like if, uh, if I have that part or if somebody else has it, we usually help each other just to make sure that we all can participate. So it's just all that's good to look forward to and it's good to uh, keep that tradition going, I guess, for the new racers and people that's getting into it is um, just be mindful and respect each other and help each other where you can. It goes a long way. And I really hats off to the organizers and to the volunteers that step up and fundraise all year and sit on these committees year after year. It's it's um, them that makes it possible for us even to race. I know sometimes we have a strong input and we voice our concerns, but at the end of the day, we really respect and appreciate um, the volunteers and the people that step up to sit on these committees because without them, none of this would be possible. Everybody was safe and it was really enjoyable. Yeah. Great job. Oh, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> oh. Wait, oh, wait. oh, yeah. One. Two, three, talk to me. <laughs> Carly Schagner, Inuvialuit Communication Society, Tuk to Yuk Tuk. going really good. Our sales are um, non-stop, like we're running out of supplies already and it's only day two, so it's been really going good. We just finished a cross-country skinner race, it was a really good race actually. It's a little bit chilly today, but you know, games are going on, people are participating, so it's a good day so far. Come down and enjoy the, there's lots, there's warm, the shack is warm, there's a nice big fire going, there's hot water there for for tea and um, hot chocolate. There's coffee there. There's lots of nice people. There's lots of new faces around, which is nice to see. I like to see new faces around town. So I always say hi and welcome and welcome. And so it's been go going good so far. Uh, come down, we're still gonna do another race today. 
a uh, couple actually, and then after that we can get ready for the bingo at seven, oh, yeah. and then the jigging contest. I think it's a complex. Uh, Sunday is Palin <laughs> show. It's another big one. There's more speedy races. Um, tea boiling on Sunday. Yeah. There's oh yeah, there's supposed to be honey honey bag hockey today too. The traditional dress parade on Sunday. Traditional dress. If anybody has their traditional dress wear, come tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, Monday is the big uh, track races. Muskrat skinny is mon oh, tomorrow. So it's been going really good. Come down to the river. I like just like to meet new people. Yeah. See new people. Welcome, welcome. Come down to the river. Thank you for all your support during our Muscat Jamboree fundraiser, me and my fiance Devana. We're so grateful for all of you buying our tickets and being there for us, to supporting all our draws, our bingos, and it's so awesome to be able to give back to the community, fundraise all that money. So happy to be where we are today and to be able to make a positive impact on the community and I just appreciate everybody's support and enjoy your weekend. Spoof. truck back in 2021 I started off with just like a little food part uh, barbecue on the side selling hot dogs on the side uh, we're looking to expand so here we are two years later with our food truck. the weekend has been very busy um, it seems like we only could like reflect at nighttime because it's just like go 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 fast pace but it's been very nice a lot of support from the community so it's been super great do you have what are your hopes for the future of Indian um, that we can expand and uh, do more consistent sales. Right now, both me and my partner, we have like full-time jobs and our team behind us too also have full-time jobs. So 
Just being able to be consistent with sales is our goal for the future. Well, I would just like to say thank you guys for coming back and honestly standing in line to you. I know sometimes the wait could be a little like crazy and stuff, but yeah, thank you guys for being patient with us and keep coming back. I mean, we're going to have more sales in the future. So definitely uh, follow our page on any of the eats on our Facebook page. Come and have some coffee and tea at the Inuit Community Corporation tent. Yes, the Inuit Community Corporation tent will be here all day today and part of tomorrow. Part of tomorrow. Come and have some tea, coffee, donuts, and warm up. Have a happy jamboree! Happy jamboree! Men's and women's harpoon Come on down and sign up. You have to be ready to throw the harpoon. It's just like you got to get balance on there. Ah, and then hold it back here. Cool. It's like Daniel. Daniel's a famous whaler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Usually when you go hunting whale, when they come up in the water, come up the water there. Best. <laughs> So folks are going to come over here and they're going to try to hit the target? Yeah. Demo. down here at the ice sunday muskrat jamboree 2023 it's the 65th anniversary and we're here outside the tent um with the inuvik community corp and i'm here to speak with brian hi brian hi how are you good how um, are you doing i'm okay i'm actually enjoying the little bit of sunshine today this is our second day at the river here and um, the inuvik community corporation put together this warm-up tent for the two days and I'm here voluntarily um, helping out the community. I, we had a bowl of soup for our members yesterday along hey, with look at uh, look at uh, donuts, tea, coffee, um, hot chocolate and today we look have hot coffee. chocolate, tea and donuts. Hey, 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 hey. So, uh, you want to show me inside? Yes, come on in here. Hey, hey, warm up. We have some elders sitting around here, and this is the best part of uh, me um, down here at the game is to listen to the elders tell stories. So here we have donuts, coffee, tea. We have our warm hot wood stove going. Yeah, there, it's so really nice. I can feel it. This is my little setup here for a couple of days, and yeah, you're here voluntary, voluntarily. Yeah. yeah, that's so awesome. Thank you for doing this. Overall, the muskrat jamboree. What's your favorite part? 
The favorite part is where I am right now. I'm in my element right now. I got my bush camp set up here and uh, I get all the elders coming and enjoying their hot coffee, tea or hot chocolate and uh, a few stories to go with it. So yeah, awesome. Very good. Yeah, making memories. And watching the games, I get the I get a bird's eye view from my door. So. Yeah. It's all good. Awesome. Thank you so yes, much. No for problem. Enjoy. Yes, you too. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for that, allowing me to interview you. Um, so we're here today. Monday is the last day for the Muskrat Jamboree 2023. Um, so how was your weekend? Oh, the weekend was just spectacular. Lots of people came in from all over the communities. And I think they really, really had a good time because there was dances, feasting and dog mushing today. We had eight teams. That's the thing that I live for because wow. we were losing that tradition before. Yeah. So it's just so nice <laughs> to see all the teams out there that uh, came mm -hmm. and they were all winners. Uh, mm -hmm. There's the big prizes, but as a committee, we thought they drove a long way, so we gave them some gas cards for $150. Nice. That's yes, nice. yes. Uh, there was a talent show last night. With a, you were one of our judges, and yeah. I really, really <laughs> thought we had such a good 
turnout last night. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. The performers. Yeah. Uh, I, I really, if I was a judge, I would have had a tough time, but mm -hmm. they did well, really well. I'm just happy with everything. And you're the organizer for the talent show? Yes. Yeah, I, good job. Everything went so smoothly and on time and yeah. <laughs> uh, things you learn throughout the years. You yeah. Know, you, I, I'm a big volunteer in the community because I really believe in community spirit. Mm -hmm. And I really think that if you don't have time, we'll be going to three o'clock in the morning because we did that before. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mon Monday is a work day. So, yeah. you know, we lose a lot of our people, a lot of the crowd. So we try to keep things on time. Yeah. So what's your favorite part of the Jamboree? My favorite part of the jamboree is when I see people like you with a big smile, happy, and uh, everybody just had a good time over the weekend. You yeah. know, it's about bringing people together. It's about being a community. It's about welcoming everybody yes, into yes. the community of the New Week, just to make them feel welcome. <laughs> They're into activities out there. We have people from all over, mm -hmm. different uh, ethnic groups. They're yeah. all participating and having fun, and that's what we're all about. Yes, for sure. Hi, Greta. Hi, Bambi. Welcome. We're Eric here uh, for ICS down at the Muskrat Jabri site. Sunday, enjoying the sun, some sunshine. Yes. Yeah, welcome and thank you. Did you do the tug of war already? This is my first time participating in tug of war. Okay, cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And you're the um, your board member. I'm the chair of the Muscat Jamboree. Yep. Yeah. I've been a member for 23 years, 23 years, and uh, I can't remember if I'm on my third term of chair, but it's been a while I, I get reappointed, so it might be my third term. Okay, yeah. awesome. Good job. Thank I you. love like seeing everyone down here enjoying the weekend. And yeah. We're, ha we're lucky today to have such beautiful weather. Yeah. yeah. So what's your favorite part of the uh, Muscat Jamboree? My favorite part is Friday during opening ceremonies. There's a sense of excitement, like we're welcoming people to come celebrate the opening and to crown the couple and to see everyone enjoy the food and to participate in fun and crazy games and then the dancing. Yeah. It's always nice to see our drummers and dancers put on a really good show for our visitors. So just tell me your name. Mariah Airy Store. Mariah Airy Store. Yes. Thank you for letting me interview you. Oh, you're welcome, Bambi. I'm happy to be here in this beautiful pit. Yes, it's really nice. Yeah, it's warming beautiful. Up a bit. What's your favorite part of the Muskrat Jamboree? Okay. I enjoy the traditional dress. Just curious, uh, it's a real nice looking parkie. I've never seen you wear it before. Yeah. So you, who made that? I really don't know just uh, just my dad's party. Party. Oh really? Yeah. Eh? It was his dad's party. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So this parky is pretty old then. Yes, it is. Real, yeah. Still works, still keeps you warm? Still works, keep me warm. Right on. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Welcome to the 65th anniversary of the Muskrat Jamboree 2023. And um traditional dress is happening today. My Omaha is made by my 80-year-old sister, Nelly Airy, and my son Dustin made my parka. Oh, wow. Right to the 
trimming and everything. Yes. I never help them because I don't. Okay, awesome. It's beautiful. Thank you. I love the uh, Delta Brain. Thanks. Tell me about Petuary. Where are you? Jewish Parker. Uh, my son Dustin made made it all. He's, uh, it has a uh, beaver skin cuffs and wolf or wolverine trimming all around. Wolverine trimming. Yeah. yeah. And uh, my wife made the moccasins. Beautiful. And she also made home page to match with the moccasins. Oh, that's so cool. Is that an eagle on there? Yes. On both. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Enjoy the rest of the muskrat jamboree. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Me. Okay, thank you. Hi, Justin. Hi. <laughs> so you joined uh, the traditional dress? Yes. Yeah. Tell me about what you're wearing. So I'm wearing um, a stock party embroidered by Pamela Muk. The bits are made by Nelly Area and the moccasins are made by Kathy Smith. What is the design on your moccasins? Um, it's a bow. A wolf? Yeah. Uh, your parka is beautiful. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Great 90. What's your name? Destiny. Destiny. Tell me about what you're wearing. So I'm wearing silver wolf hat, mitts, and fur. It's beautiful. I see you have um, seal skin trimming here and on the bottom. Mm -hmm. oh, it's very beautiful. And um, can we have a look at the uh, close up of your mitts? Um, and please tell me who made your clothing? Dustin Smith. Oh, he made everything? Yes. Oh, yes. awesome. Beautiful. And it says a classic like Dustin. Oh, does it? I wasn't a part of it this year, but I enjoyed the yeah. dress. Yes. Like you're wearing a lovely parka and Oh my, yes. Beautiful. A, a beautiful clothing. My uh, mitts come from Ula mm -hmm. My comics come from Taktoyaka. My auntie Mildred, I guess cousin Mildred, made them for me. Mm -hmm. I made my own pocket cover. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's Ula Hakto. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. so nice. I know. You had to make a beautiful parka to go with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I actually tried my own, but I didn't like how wide I did the delta braid. I still need practice. Yeah, it takes yeah. practice. Yeah. Yes. And you know, when I sew, I usually sew during the morning or early afternoon. Yep. So being at work until five or whatever is I'm a little too tired and mm -hmm. my stitching is not as good as it is at ten in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So any other highlights you you enjoy during the muskrat jamboree? Back in the day I used to be part of it all day. Yeah. You know, from start to end and now it's like a little task for me to dress up. You the one that about getting run over? Make sure you're going to do that. Make sure you bring hockey equipment. Go to that shin guard. Dog spray, you know that. Bear spray. Man, you need to put a good overall on your beautiful jeans there. Eh? Once you put a overall on your jeans, you know, you can't come off. You're staying for life. Boy, look at you, drink it pop. On a cold day like this, you must be quite Gucci. <laughs> Tough people are Gucci. I used to do tea boiling. I used to pack flour. I used to... Skin muskrats. Maybe I might still skin muskrats tomorrow. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. And I'll watch you. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the women used to work like heck long ago. All the men did was hunt and then stretch, hunt, stretch the rat. You had no time for sleep in the springtime. The more rats you got, the longer you could stay drunk. No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Well, folks, we have a good Friday, good Saturday. And today is bloody Sunday. <laughs> okay, we're going to do the gunny sack races after this, then we're going to get into the five to six hundred cross country. 2, 37. I, had my, I had my grandchildren and 
Uh, they're a little bit too young for me to take out, so. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy to be here today mm -hmm. to check it out. It is a beautiful day. It's gorgeous. Nice and out. sunny. Yeah. 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 Oh, so. I'm going to have an Eskimo donut now. Okay. Have it with some coffee or tea. Okay. Yummy. Mm. And enjoy the rest of the muskrat jam. I will. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for letting me enjoy uh, interview. Wow, mm. ah, little. Yeah. Are you 90? Naku. I'm starting to say Naku. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Bambi. Kayla. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Are you enjoying the muskrat jamboree? Yes. What's your favorite part of the muskrat jamboree? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate? <laughs> I figured you have some there. Is it yummy? Yeah. Do you like being here in this tent with your dad? Yeah. Are you helping him with wood? No? <laughs> well, well, well. At start, uh, I helped him bring all the stuff in. Oh, good job. That's so awesome. You're helping your dad and helping other people. Here at the Muskrat Jamboree down at the ice. People are coming in to keep warm and have something to drink. You like being around the people? Yeah? Awesome. Have fun this weekend. Have fun this weekend. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, my name is Shannon Furlong. I'm from Inuvik. This is my younger brother, Braden John, mm -hmm. from Aklavik. Hey. We got what? first place in the duets category. That was our first time doing a duet. What mm -hmm. does music mean to you? It's really important to me. Mm -hmm. I always play music. I love listening to music. I love coming to events like this like talent shows, just all the entertainers, performers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always try to like join every talent show. Even if we don't win, we're here to have fun and play for everybody else. It's not just us trying to win. Mm -hmm. We're here for everyone. It means a lot. Like when we came off, there were so many people coming up to us saying we did good and trying to cry around for us. So <laughs> 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 yep. So I'm pretty happy. Yeah. And why why did you choose that song? Can you actually can you introduce the song that you sang and why you chose it? It's a great song. <laughs> great speckled bird. It's a gospel song. Um, we practiced it yesterday and today, so it turned out good. <laughs> we had fun. Always have fun. Looking forward to these community events and. I hope everyone enjoyed their weekend and enjoys the last day of the Jamboree tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And yep, that's it.
both did good. We both did good. That's all I could say. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and right. to everyone else, you all did good too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. I won't take yes. any more of your time. Thank you. Okay, so when we announce uh, the start of the jigging contest, I'm going to ask all of the jiggers to come over here in this area so that when you come out, you're not trying to jig your way out into the crowd. So you just jig out to here. Happy Muskrat Jamboree, everybody. Back in the Klavik one year, uh, Edward Lenny was doing a square dance. And just as I was walking out the door, he told me, Edward, Edward. So I looked back, he's like, I need one more. I told him, I can't, I don't know how. And he told me, never say you can't, at least try. Ever since that day, I've been stuck on that dance floor. So with that being said, with permission from the Lenny family, we are now, from this day forward, naming this the Edward Lenny Memorial Jigging Contest. Thank you. Thank you to the Lenny family. We really appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to call the 16 to 30. Um.
like to say thank you to our uh, volunteers because volunteering takes a lot of time, lots of logistics, and lots of time away from family, and you got to kind of um, get yourself organized on how you're going to manage the whole weekend. Yeah. I manage on four hours sleep, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. downtime after the events in the evening and then time to get up early in the morning because you want to go for breakfast, mm -hmm. pancake breakfast yeah, and uh, all those kinds of things, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if I want, if I can have the opportunity, I'd like to say we're looking for some new volunteers, anybody mm -hmm. that's willing to come out, join us. We, we're a good team, you know, uh, if you think that you can make a change or you think that there's we can do things better. We invite you. We're always open to change. We're we're a positive group, you yeah. know, and we really, really love the fact that we have a lot of young people join mm -hmm. has joined us over the past three years. Yes, you can see it, like how the weekend turned out. Yeah, mm -hmm. awesome job to everyone. Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes, you're welcome. Must see Cho.